has been questions for the players, and then we'll excuse them and pass to Coach Flores. Scott? Yeah, um, wow, what a battle. Two great teams. I want to congratulate Arkansas. Um, heck of a team. Heck of a season they've had. Uh, Coach Van Horn and his coaches all do a tremendous job, and they always have done a tremendous job. It's like watching our own team across the field. They play the right way. They play hard. They don't showboat. Um, they keep their mouth shut, and they play how baseball is supposed to be played. So congrats to Arkansas, first of all. Um, and man, what a what a what a year for these guys, these three up here, and our team. Um, for a group of guys that way back in the preseason, nobody on the outside had expectations or thought that they would get anywhere. They did, and they did get somewhere. Um, they won an ACC championship. They won a regional at Boschmer Stadium, and we just came up a little bit short. But to no surprise, you know, we fought to the end. And that's something this team has done from the first pitch. We've played all season, and that's why they got us all to this point. Um, I do want to thank our fans. I thought the regional and the super regional were tremendous. I thought our support has been tremendous. Um, and personally, I want to thank these guys that are up here, but also, you know, I'll thank them later. You're only as good as your players. Uh, you know, I've been fortunate to be put in this position, but I know why I'm in this position is to lead young men, um, you know, hopefully have a positive impact on them, but they also have a positive impact on me. They've done everything right off the field, in the classroom, and obviously the results were outstanding on the field. So uh, it hurts to come up a little bit short, but I feel great about University of North Carolina and our baseball program. Questions for Danny Vance and Davis? This is for Vance. It's Matthew Clements from Inside Carolina. Can you talk about the catch that you made? Um, obviously, that was a huge part of the game at that point. Um, yeah, so it was, I think it was running on second base, and Davis made a good pitch, and the, I think it was Slavin just caught a piece of it, and it was just up in the air for a little bit too long. So, but um, I thought we um, thought that was being able to hold them was was important. And then we scratched one. And then you know, at the end of the day, they they got us in the ninth. Adam, Danny, could you just maybe take us through the the emotions of taking the lead in the, the ninth inning on Alvarez's hit, and then you know how to go the the wrong way there in the bottom of the ninth, just sort of the up and down of it all. Um, yeah, I mean, it was uh, it was a roller coaster of emotions um, for a number of different reasons. Um, but, you know, it's, like, uh, it's just baseball, I guess. I mean, it'll rip your heart out. Um, you can feel on top of the world 30 minutes ago and then, you know, feel like garbage <laughs> now, you know. So, I mean, it's, it sucks. But... Um, yeah, hats off to them. See Alvin Sheldon and Brugger. If if only I could kind of chime in on this, um, especially from the pitching perspective, Davis. I was wondering how the delays affected you guys. Because it seemed like that first delay, um, uh, you guys are just coming out of getting out of a bases loaded situation. It seems like there's a little momentum, and then the second delay came right after your your catch advance, and it seemed like you know everybody was hyped in, and then you know you have to come back to the dugout and it's just Hour delay. How, how did that affect you guys? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's tough, definitely, especially when you look outside and it's not raining, so you think you'd be playing, but it's definitely it's definitely tough, especially that first one. We definitely had some momentum coming back in, and we had some momentum in the second one as well, but I mean, that's just, we can't control the weather. That's just the way it is. Um, just keeping our bodies warm throughout the break, and I think both times we came out ready to play after it, so it's tough, but it happens. You want to take that too? Um, yeah, it's def it was definitely tough. Um, yeah, momentum or not, um, you don't want to stop, but um, like David said, I mean, you can't control that. Um, we focus on things we can't control, but um, we were just focused on coming out and playing. Um, and I feel like we played hard, but 
but uh, just did come out on top. Shelby. Yeah, uh, Shelby Swanson, Daily Tar Heel. This is a question for you, Danny. I saw at the end of the game, it looks like you went out with a cup sort of to the shortstop area and you were picking up dirt and putting it in there. Can you just talk me through that? Uh, yeah, I mean, my mom likes to like have little things that kind of always, um, you know, giving her little, um, I, don't know, I don't know what you want to call it. Yeah, but um, I don't know. I, I, I figured uh, that she would like that. Um, but uh, yeah, just like I've been there for four years, so um, you know, I figured I'd, I'd take some with me. Um, Danny, on that note, just can you reflect on what the season has meant to you um, coming back, and then just where you guys were and where, where you guys are now? Yeah, I mean, I, I me and Angel came back um, for a run like this, so um, I mean, it's been all I can ask for. Um, it didn't end the way we wanted to, but I mean, I had so much fun, and um, you know, this this bond that I've made with uh, all these guys, um, you know, is something that won't be broken. Patrick, Pat James, how much of an impact does the makeup of Brian's game had on you, such as the game of Brian and Angel and Danny, just kind of made this experience what it's been for you as a freshman? Um, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't replace this this year for the world. Um, Coming in here, I didn't really know what to expect, and you know, every single one of these guys is a big heart. Um, they support you. They want to have your best interest, um, and it, uh, it, it. I'm very thankful for them, and it, it just sucks. Bob in the front row. A couple yeah. more for the players. Yeah, uh, Bob and Byron Smith, Craig, and Danny Grants and Dan. What did you guys think of Will Mack and Kirk and so stuff? Did you the guy that really wasn't pitching in the middle of the year and really come on here for like one of those? Um, uh, I thought he had good stuff again today. Uh, they attacked us similar to how they attacked us yesterday, um, and they executed. And um, you know, kudos to him. Yeah, they made it. Uh, made it tough. He had. He was working. He had to, had, had his pitches working today. Um, we. It was. It was tough <laughs> to score all weekend for sure. Um, and that's a that's a credit to them. But. Um, I mean, I thought we played hard. It just, just credit that guy. Hey, two more for the player, right here in the second round. Ed Rogers, Daily Tar Heel. Right before that seventh inning, where you guys got those two runs, you guys kind of went to the back of the dugout and kind of a meeting amongst all the players and Coach Ford. Uh, I guess what kind of was said in that, and how that kind of helped turn the tables during that inning. Anybody? Um, yeah, just to slow down in the box. Um, you know, stay mm -hmm. calm, stay with your routine. Um, don't let you know this great atmosphere speed you up in any way if you can, because um, and just to just to stay calm, really. Anybody else for the players? All right, guys, thank you very much. Appreciate you coming in. Here. Let's take four or five for Coach Forbes. Squeeze your hand, Calvin first. Michael, will you start it up? Someone watch your step, please. Watch your step. <coughs> Michael, uh, Michael Code, WCHL. It's Scott. Ten years from now, what are you going to remember most about this team? Um, you know, probably the start we had, and then you know the the bad stretch that we had, and then for these guys to overcome that uh, and to get us where we were today, with a chance to push with a game to go to Omaha. Um, those those will be on the field memories, but you know, you you, you coach. I've coached a long time, and the relationships are really that's that's what it's about and I firmly believe that the wins will take care of themselves if you build those relationships so that's what I'll take the most from this team. Obviously you've had a lot of adversity but nothing like this with Matt. Can you take us through the for that? Yeah, you're talking about Matt Corbath. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, unexpected things happen and we talk about them as a team and that was unexpected obviously. Um, I'd actually fallen asleep, and I leave my my phone on ring this time of year. And Terry Joe called me, and you know he had he had gone to the emergency room, and unfortunately he had to have it removed. And you know my heart sank mostly for Mac, obviously in our team, but especially for Mac because I know I've been in his shoes. I played college baseball. You, this is what you work for to play in a game like that, and I know how badly he missed it. Uh, but a credit to our guys that you know still gave us a chance to win that game without one of our best players. 
Um, I texted him a couple of times. I think he's still pretty uncomfortable, so he was watching it with his mom somewhere. Pat and Seal. Good coach. I mean, Danny, you referenced it there. I mean, you talked all year about Angel and Danny coming back for the right reasons. I mean, then the way they've led this group and all of these other classes as well. I mean, just how much is that something you'll remember about this team going forward as well? Yeah, we, you know, we talk about the Carolina way. Um, and, we, you know, I sat down with those two guys and and I just made it clear that don't come back to improve your draft stock and, you know, come back if you want to leave here with your degree and help us, you know, hopefully win a championship. And, and we were mighty close. Obviously, we won an ACC championship, but that's not our ultimate goal. Um, and those two guys, they've done way more for us in that locker room than they have on the field. I mean, the numbers speak for themselves, and they were rewarded for that. And, again, that's the thing that I'm, I firmly believe in, that – if you do it the right way and these guys do it for the right reasons, um, you get rewarded and both those guys, you know, we wouldn't be here, we wouldn't be in this situation without Danny Sharetti and Angel Zarate. See Bob. Scott, how kind of curious were you because Matt being out with all of the changes that you had to make in, in including the lineup and, and defensively and you see certain players come and step up and especially with Alvarez in the ninth being able to get that yeah, that was, I mean, that was really cool. Um, and you feel like, you know, we're going to win that game when that happens. So that was that was a, a big downer. But, you know, you recruit hard and you try to have depth. And we felt like we have had it, especially on the infield. You can, anybody can run and catch a fly ball. Um, and we felt like Johnny, Johnny played a lot of third base in the Cape last summer. Um, I thought he could do a really good job there. And we had a chance to score those two runs. I also felt good about going to Patty in there and going to Joe. Um, because we work on those things. You know, it's not like they've never been at first base or Patty hadn't been at second base and Johnny hadn't been at third base. So you have to plan for the work, the worst and the what if. Um, we're always asking each other before games, what if this happens, what if this happens, what will we do? Um, and, you know, I was really proud of Johnny. He almost made a heck of a play there in the ninth off battles and he couldn't quite get to it. Bob, uh, you know, Arkansas was four and eight coming into the NC tournament. They've been struggling, but it cost them a regional host probably. What, what do you see from them? Kind of what do you think of them as a team? And you know, this is going to be Dave Van Horn's ninth World Series with Nebraska and Arkansas. What, what do you think of that? Stuff? You know, before the series, I always look at our opponent and I've, I've always added up how old they are um, age-wise. And if you look at Arkansas, they're an older team, especially positionally. they got some young power arms, um, but they have some grads. Uh, they've got some seniors, and they've had some guys that have played in the SEC and played in some big postseason games. I mean, you're looking at a team that was number one in the country all year last year. And again, you know, watching them play, I have a lot of respect for them because they do remind us a lot of us. They hit a home run, they run around the bases, um, they run hard through first base, they're fundamentally sound. So I knew it was going to be a battle, and I knew they had a lot of really good players with the first rounder mixed in there in the three hole. Um, and it was going to be tough, and you know, credit to them. But I think I think they can do well out there for sure. And then, like, uh, Dave's ninth College World Series. What, what do you think of that? I mean, it's it's impressive, um, but it's also you know not unexpected because he's been there before. Scott, so still on route, so we've got time for a couple more. Gregory, um, Scott, obviously a lot of emotion from your guys there. Um, Caden coming off. Um, him hugging Angel and seeing Danny up here. Just what does it mean to you to see um, how much these guys care? And obviously, that's what getting knocked off on your own stadium is not the way you want it to end. But yeah, um, you don't ever want it to end unless you're you're hoisting that trophy. It feels the same um, if you don't finish number one. Um, it just does. Uh, and when you see the emotion like that, that's sports. You know, that's what makes them so awesome. Like like Danny said. You can be on top of the world, and then it can rip your heart out. But the, the, the thing about it is there's so many life lessons that these guys learn, and it helps them succeed when they leave here um, in, in real life. You know, we're still playing baseball, and you got to have some perspective. Uh, but I hurt for them. Um, you know, I'm doing my best right now to try to look down and not get emotional because I am an emotional person. But I'll be emotional when I go in that locker room. Because when you love people, there are a lot of emotions. And this is a close group that loves each other. Last one, Steele. Scott, 
Scott, when you, when you gave Davis the ball in the sixth, were, were you expecting him? I mean, at that moment, were you like, we're going to win or lose, we're going to ride you out? Yeah, you know, um, I don't need to go in to where we were on the mound, but, uh, you know, some guys are available, some aren't. Um, we've been fighting some nicks and bruises, and guys have had to step up in different roles, but we felt like with Davis having all that rest, um, you know, he was going to have to give us three or four innings, and Dagum, if he didn't almost do that, and that's a credit to him as well because he's pitched a, a lot for us. But that was our plan. Um, Gage had been battling um, – a back and neck issue, and, and we were hoping that he could come in and get a batter or two, and that's what he did. And then we went ahead and went to Davis. Scott, thank you very much. Thank you. Just, uh, Arkansas Coast players in here.